My name is Mia Rodriguez and welcome back to my channel and today we are back with another Sims 4 revamping of classic Sims builds. Yes, I am basically obsessed at this point. Uh, building the Sims has kind of become a new hobby of mine and it's a little comforting to me. I'm a very busy woman. But yeah, I recently got get together and man oh man, I didn't realize how great of a pack it is both gameplay wise and building wise. It's just, I feel like my Sims have a lot more to do now. Um, and the main reason why I, why I wanted to revamp an original build and not just create a whole new one is because uh, honestly it's a lot less work <laughs> like when you have an original build to go off of there's not as much creativity <laughs> that's needed um of course i did drastically change the style a bit from the original build and you'll see that more at the end when i show comparison photos but First things first was I wanted to make the build actually blue, given its name the Blue Velvet Nightclub. <laughs> so that's what I did. And I did use a lot of city living and get together with this build, uh, just because I feel like a nightclub should just function a lot more when there's just a lot more to do there's literally nothing you can do with the base game and i feel like a lot of people nowadays have a lot of the packs especially the original packs so hopefully that's not too big of a problem and if you notice the speed build is going a lot faster than it usually does and i cut out a lot of building the exterior that's just because i'm trying to cut down the time that you guys have to watch uh, the last video I made was over 20 minutes and I don't think people really want to sit through that. So, um, I cut out the beginning where I was doing the exterior and honestly I struggled a lot with the exterior and I struggled a little bit with the interior as well because I was trying to make it new but also try and keep to the original as much as possible and that's just for my sake for other people's sake and the town like the surrounding buildings that the building is based off of um it's a very suburban town type of thing <laughs> um and so yeah that's basically what i was trying to do um on the interior now these are the photos that inspired me. I really wanted it to be inspired by those old jazz bars or speakeasies. Uh, just a really fun um, and just a, just a vibey place, honestly. <laughs> but yeah, so right now, I, let me get my words together. Another thing that I really struggled with was the layout of this bar. I didn't really think about that before I made the shape of the bar. It's not a bar, it's a nightclub, but um, yeah, so there's a second floor like in the original build, but you'll see later on that I was having trouble placing stairs both for the upstairs and later on I do add a basement because I realized because of the window placement and the way that I laid out both the top and the bottom floor, there was no place for a proper bathroom. So that's why I put a basement later on. And also for some reason, I, I never really knew how to properly add like, um, you see that I'm adding right now, like a was that like a balcony, I guess? <laughs> yeah, like a balcony without walls disappearing, without the ceiling disappearing, and honestly, it was really, really annoying. Um, and I originally, uh, you see me building the stage here. I originally wanted there to be just instruments there, but then I realized this is not a bar, this is not a bar, this is a nightclub, this is a place people go to listen to DJs and dance, not sit down, smoke, and listen to live performances like in the Rattlesnake bar. <laughs> so, um, you, yeah, right there I try to add like, let's sneak in a little bathroom upstairs, but it just didn't work out. Um, but I've been having a lot of fun with the new pack. I watched a TikTok the other day uh, that 
it was from this person on tiktok i don't remember their name but their video was saying controversial things about the sims 4 and one of those things was that seasons <laughs> the sims 4 seasons is a complete scam and i really i i honestly was just like aren't all the packs for the sims 4 a a scam at this point <laughs> like um a lot of especially a lot of the newer packs like growing together and discover university and the high school packs and you know, parenting all those things should have came with the original game but of course there's nothing to capitalize off of if you just have one game that has it all in one and my opinion on there being competitor life simulation games like life by you has been announced and is in the works right now and to be honest i don't really like the look of it but i may just be biased <laughs> um and um but also like competitors of the game and comparing the sims 4 to previous sims games like the sims 2 and the sims 3 i never really played the sims 2 I think I did once with my sister when I was very, very young on the PlayStation 2. Um, and it was like one of those story-driven Sims 2 gameplays. And then I I really got into the Sim scene for The Sims 3. And The Sims 3 was great. And I'm pretty sure EA hasn't officially announced the making of The Sims 5. But in my in my humble opinion, I feel like The Sims 5 should just simply be a combination of The Sims 3 and The Sims 4. People always compare The Sims 4 to The Sims 3, and people always, you know, wish that some elements of The Sims 4 was in The Sims 3 back when it came out, like the color wheel or having open worlds and cars. <laughs> and a lot of um kind of basic fundamental things to be honest um and also just the simple fact of there not being the separation between expansion packs game packs and stuff packs and just having everything all in one like for example the sims 3 um supernatural had witches werewolves and fairies all in one pack with a ton of gameplay a ton of build items a ton of creative some items and then the sims 3 island living i don't think it was called island living oh island paradise that's what it was called the sims 3 I island paradise didn't just have mermaids that it also had scuba, scuba diving you could also own your own resort like your own little paradise resort which was so much fun and then the sims 4 island living you get mermaids and you do get a beautiful world but there's not much gameplay after that <laughs> so um i just feel like the sims 5 whenever it comes out in three five ten years from now who knows it doesn't seem like they're done updating the sims 4 at any capacity but when they do come out with The Sims 5, I hope they really keep that in mind because I don't really know how they can upgrade the art style or the animation style of The Sims anymore, to be honest. I, I mean, I guess you can argue that they'll make it more realistic, but in my personal opinion, I don't think that's very necessary. I, I think a lot of people are fond of the sims 4 animation style and if they're not there's max match and alpha custom content for a reason um we have modders for a reason we appreciate you modders but and we are coming up to the end of the speed build here guys i will see you for the tours
already guys so we all know what the old classic blue velvet nightclub looked like in willow creek um it was okay but it wasn't giving it wasn't giving it, it wasn't fun it, it, it was more like old people lounge than it was young people nightclub and this is my version of the blue velvet nightclub <laughs> So let's give you guys a little tour of the place, the exterior or whatever. I put some plants. I didn't want to put too many plants because I just felt like too much greenery it just took away from the style that I did. Um, but yeah, I added this really cl nice classic sign. I set all of the lighting on the exterior and the outterior to this really nice dark blue shade. And all of these lights right here are just um, wall lights that I got from the base game and just outlined the entire freezes of it. And here's the back of the building. We got this little tiny stupid fountain. Um, I didn't know what else to put there. Um, and then we have this little tiny outdoor seating area. If you do have seasons and it rains, this equipment won't work. Um, but it is summertime in my game, so it's okay for now. But yeah, that's the exterior. Now if we go on the inside, there's Sims already here. Um, so don't mind that. But here is the interior, y'all. Oh my gosh. Uh, I'm just so happy. At first I wasn't happy with how it looked, but then I was like, wait, I just need to wait until nighttime. It's gonna look lit. And it does. I put the dance floors from Disney get together the DJ thing um, this was from the original build actually so I kept it in there uh, I put two bars here um, I think the lot only gives you one bartender but you can probably pay for two more if you want to um, but yeah I really like how it turned out and then if we go um, upstairs um, there's a little staircase right there and it goes up here um, put these nice blue curtains from the base game and I put a little arcade machine and a hookah bar because I pictured this as more of a the lounging area and I don't know a cigar bar I guess um, but yeah 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 I'm very happy with how it turned out and then we have this balcony that looks down onto the the dance floor so you can still hear the music these beautiful big windows and then just last but not least just down here pretty basic are just the bathrooms is pretty literally not decorated at all just like <laughs> flooring and wallpaper and the really nice high-tech toilets from city living and I of course this is get together put in um, the little closet down here just to add a spot for woo hooing but uh yeah so that is my build it is on the gallery i will display my name right here on the screen and i hope you guys liked this let's play well not this let's play but this speed build and let me know if you want me to do more in the future thank you so much for watching bye let's cut our losses gunner Let's cut our losses, Gunner. Let's cut our losses, Gunner. Using the secret door to Jones's office was a mistake. I had it alarmed.